uh, we're back out walking in the Lake District today and our task today is to do three fells, Middle Fell, Sea Talon and Buck Barrow. They're kind of behind me there. So we have parked here in what's called Greendale. We're sort of at the side of the road. I'll give you a picture of that in a minute. Um, but it's just about eight o'clock in the morning. We're starting early because there's rain in the air. There actually has been rain overnight. So we haven't seen rain on the holiday yet. So that's hoping we can get a, a dry walk in. You see the car parked along the side of the road. And then you have the screes in front of us and the scaffolds covered in the cloud. So very atmospheric, lovely. So here's our path and you can just spot Andrea in the distance there. She's just set off like a train and uh, she'll be saying, what is he faffing about at? There she is, waiting patiently. Oh wow, well. see all the sheep getting rounded up and below, fantastic. This is the view you get after 10 minutes of walking, absolutely stunning. There you see. Oh, it looks like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the sheep coming across the road, coming up to see us. <laughs> wow. He must have got them all, Andre. I wonder, do they know where they're going? Maybe they're coming to see us up here. At this spot you have a choice you can go left down the valley or right up the hill and the path is clearly up the hill here come the sheep <laughs> where we were standing earlier they've now reached but i have a feeling they will probably head towards the water and not our path so we have to go up now a bit and head towards our first peak. Just reached another nice little stopping point. Isn't that Cairn? You can see up there is the Joss Naylor Cairn. Hopefully we will be able to pass that on the way back. It's a good, it's a good marker for a good descent. There's Buck Barrow. Here comes Andre. Start of the screen, just pausing to enjoy the view. See Sellafield sticking his nose up there. But uh, well up there. Ooh. The wind came up, the rain came up, and uh, the coats have gone on, so I think we're in a good break. Professional. Rapid descending. Following the lady in the red coat. <laughs> it's very hard to miss. There's a green deal 
Horn for the first time coming into view. Andre has descended rapidly. I think it's her way of keeping warm. So, to the left, see Talon, which looks a steep one. My golly, does it look steep. So, we have a decision. I'll just put a look at my And decided to press on to see Talon. Because uh, see a bit of blue sky. And uh, I think it's a window of opportunity. So, let's go. <laughs> that is Andre in the distance. She just picked up her stuff and flew on. I had to, yeah, to tidy up and put all the rubbish away and all that sort of crack. But anyway, we're, we're on the move, on the march again. So, and there is where we are going, Sea Talon. It's a little bit uh, marshy here. You can hear my feet, but uh, still it's easy walking. Get us ready for the next stage. Just look down the valley here. There is Green Dale Beck. And there is where we were, Middle Fell. This is the real climbing now, because that is, is steep. Probably the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's really steep. Holy but sure. There's our path straight in front of us, it's not even Andre and Ashley could get lost in this one, it's just straight forward. This is lovely walking now, after all that hard draft. Ian, look at the views, the screes, really making good time now, and uh, we're approaching the sort of cat fields area and then we go left for Glade High but I'm just gonna pan round again just to show you the picture. Little fell. There's Gaffel Cat Fields B I E L D S. Not a win right. What a view it has Andre Is the cairn for Glade How? I don't know what's happened to Andrea on this descent, but when I started to talk about Sunday lunch, she seemed to just 
quick in our pace. <laughs> no. Looks like we're gonna have to go through a little swampy area here. Paths here, but we've taken the, the right path. I'm sure all paths lead the same way. We're almost at Buck Barrow now. Our third win right of the day. And as ever, Andrea is leading the way. Here we go. Buck Barrow. Well done, Andrew. Number three today. Buck Marrow. <laughs> to make our way across to the, the Josh Naylor Cairn. It's quite a tramp there. There was no real path that we could find. Um, but there it is, we've made it. Okay, we found a path down so far. Not bad sure whether it's a good path or not but well, there's some stones here so maybe it's marked the whole way down for us yeah seems like a path okay coach it back off anyway, I found a good path down there so we're all happy again look at the view I keep saying that, don't I? That is okay. It's been quite a tricky descent, that bit, coming down through the ferns. Very clear path, but just tricky. Very steep. You could make a, make a mistake quite easily, but Andrew's very sure footed here. And there she goes into the oblivion. Greendale back on our left, middle fail, and then ahead the screes. And there's the car. Parked under the tree. Yep. There's quite a few more cars there now. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this walk and the video. I think it's been one of our nicest walks so far. It had a bit of everything and uh, we've really enjoyed it so thanks for watching uh, until the next one Cheap pen anyway, but it's something significant.
Uh, maybe it's a shelter, but we're we're almost down now. Well, Andre, end of the walk. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. You're not going to talk to me, are you? No. Lovely bridge here, which we've gone over many times. Never really noticed what it was like. But do you always walk in the middle of the road? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> <laughs>